Melissa Mackenzie was running around here doing cartwheels. She was using her wheelchair as a prop. I was yelling at her all day. You said earlier in the week Mackenzie thought the dance was too hard. Mackenzie loved this dance, Christy. She told me she was so, she cried when she got home because she loved this dance so much. She's hurt, she's not lying. My child is not lying, I promise you. Earlier today, when Abby wasn't in the room, we saw Mackenzie doing cartwheels. I think she just doesn't want to be in the group dance and Melissa's covering for her. And you have to see our point that we're saying. I, I do, but my daughter is hurt. She was completely running around here that entire time. No, the doctor the did not say for her stuff. not to walk, not to dance for 72 hours. She's not supposed to walk on her foot. You probably shouldn't be doing cartwheels either. My God, I didn't make her do it. <laughs> sake. I don't want you to think I'm picking on Mackenzie. No. Whatever. I already told you, I don't need to explain. All right, move ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number 424, Brooke with Arm Yourself. did really well in her dance, considering she didn't have a dance teacher run it with her. I think that if Abby would have been in the dressing room and ran the solo with her, Brooke wouldn't have forgot a step. I thought Brooke did really good. I yeah, thought she, she did well. Beautiful. I know yeah. one thing, I don't want to hear one thing from Abby. Why? Like, one correction. Because she wasn't in here to run her dance with her. Uh, you know what? If you can't give her the corrections before she goes on stage, then don't give her any. She spent no time with her. She never looked at her costume once. She never looked at her makeup. She never told her how to wear her hair. Nothing. Never watched her do a thing. She did it on her own. And I'm proud of her. Woo! You were amazing. Lovely. You were beautiful. Good job, Brooke. I loved it. Beautiful, girlfriend. I don't think you could have done it any better. And you know what? You had no help. Does that bother you that Abby doesn't help you? No matter how you score, I was proud of you. Thank you. I think Brooke showed a lot of maturity by doing this all on her own. She did it without a dance teacher. All right, Brooke. Nice job. Thank you. How did it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good? So do you think it could have been better? You do? Well, why didn't you do your best? Well, I got stuck okay. on my one turn, like on the floor. like On the air best? Yes. Brooke did well with her solo. 
but I think she could have done a whole lot better. If Brooke would realize that she was put on this earth to dance, maybe she would work harder. Maybe she would be more passionate. What's the matter? Why are you sitting there sulking? Maybe if her dance teacher was in here running it with her before she I, went out on stage, she, she did would, it. It was great. Would have I said it was great. Brooke, if you keep running it and running it and running it, your back's gonna hurt. You're the major here, or the colonel, or whatever it is. You need to be the the you know seniority up the ladder. She isn't treated like with seniority. I treat her like a fourteen year old. I have a bunch of fourteen year olds at home ready to do their dances, and nobody's there running it with them. Yeah, and you haven't run hers with her for the last two weeks, their last two solos. I expect you to remember. It's a two-minute solo. You need to remember it. Brooke is 14 years old. It's time for her to be independent. If she was in an audition, would she have her dance teacher there to run the numbers with her 10 minutes before she goes on? Uh, no. Brooke, it's time to grow up. What about you, Mackenzie? How's the foot? She just told me it felt a little better. It did feel a little better? She's resting a little bit. But it's... Resting? What are you resting from? All the cartwheels you were doing? Come on. My eyes and ears are everywhere. Did Mackenzie really think that she was going to do cartwheels and I wouldn't know about it? Mackenzie, if you're faking that injury, there's going to be huge repercussions. She was hopping. Oh, Melissa. She was. I was watching her, Cal. Melissa, don't lie for your kids. I'm not. I'm you lie enough her. yourself as it is. What do you mean? Without I... lying for her. I was watching her. I think Melissa is covering for Mackenzie. They both need to just fess up and get their punishment over with already. I told her to sit down 100 times. She said, I'm not on my foot, Mom. Melissa, did your mom and dad take 100 times to tell you the same thing? Never. But you're letting her run you. Well, if you can do cartwheels and you can do this and you can do that, you can do the dance for how long? I wasn't on my foot. You weren't on your foot. I don't want to be lied to. You skipped down the hallway, you walked down the hallway. People heard you say it didn't hurt anymore. Let's all learn this lesson. You're injured, you're staying home. I, I need that like a hole in the head. I need to get to the bottom of this foot thing. Mackenzie and Melissa, their stories just start adding up. And there's one way to find out what's really going on. Interrogation tactics. Brooke, I want you to line everybody up. Right here, facing that way. Come on, let's go. Maddie! Yes, ma'am. Did Mackenzie go to the hospital when she left dance class? Yes, ma'am. Nia! Yes, ma'am. Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? I didn't see her do a cartwheel. Don't you lie to me. I just saw her walk. You saw her walk. Did she limp? Yeah. She doesn't have a broken foot. It's a sprained ankle. You can walk on a sprained ankle. Did anybody else witness Mackenzie out of the chair doing a trick or upside down? Finally, the truth comes out. I knew these kids would crack under pressure. Mackenzie, I'm not very happy. You're playing around and making a joke of it. I don't want a wounded soldier. Paige was in a cast for weeks. Want to get better and you want to be OK for Monday? You stay off it. Soldier, you save those tears for the pillow. We don't have time for tears. Do we all know what we're doing? Legs straight, feet pointed, shoulders down, timing, facial expressions. Before I deploy my troops, they need to get this choreography down pat. Windows, Chloe. This thing with Chloe has gone on long enough. Now, she hasn't been on the pyramid since her suspension. I want to talk to Chloe. I want to make sure she knows where she stands with me. Come here. I'm going to be watching you during this number, yes? And this whole thing is about don't ask, just tell. You need to start speaking up for yourself, yes? yes. I've had issues with your mother in the past. My issue with you is that you don't speak up and tell your mother that's not right. We should not be doing that. That's against my contract. You need to speak up. Understand? That's why I'm disappointed in you. And if you walk into that studio and you can't look every instructor, including myself, in the eye because you have some secret that's going on and your mother says, don't say anything about that, that's a lie. Understand? 
Chloe and I have made a commitment to this team. Chloe is a national title winner. I have signed Abby's contracts. Like, we are clearly here. Let's move forward. Put her back on the pyramid, let the kid dance, and let's move on. Soldiers, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. The last time you did a hip hop dance, it was embarrassing. This time, it's not going to be embarrassing. This is it. My troops are ready to go into battle. This hip hop number is ready to step on stage. And I need the ALDC army victorious. This is war. All right, here we go in the junior small group division. This is entry number 84 with Don't Ask, Just Tell. delightful to watch. They were not the least bit embarrassed, intimidated, awkward on stage. I mean, was it perfect? No, I think everyone made a mistake. Was it seamless? Was it flawless? Nope, 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 nope. It wasn't any of those things, but it sure was entertaining. Oh, you did! Hi, did you have fun? Oh, was it fun? It looked like you had fun. Get up, let's go, line up. Come on, let's go. Let's line up, line up, line up, let's go. I don't know why everybody's so happy and cheerful. I saw a ton of mistakes out there. And this is my army. If you mess up, there will be consequences. Face me. Now, Robert Nia, what mistake did you make? I accidentally twisted the wrong way. So, what do we do for that mistake? I don't know, you're the dance teacher. 20 push-ups. <laughs> Next, Kendall, what mistake did you make? I needed to work more on my face and my spacing. You were chosen, and you were put in that spot next to Maddie. You get on stage, and you choke. Drop and give me 20. Maddie, what did you do wrong in the dance? I accidentally, like, I was, like, skipping up like that. Drop, give me 20. Tell me what you did wrong. I used my hand wrong. Drop and give me 20. Paige. Drop and give me 20. M-I-A, missing in action. You just should have marched off the stage. Drop and give me 20. Let's go. Come on. Soldiers. Stand up straight. Could it have been sharper? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Tighter? Yes, ma'am. More energy? Yes, 